Okay guys, in this problem, a dam holding back 30 acre feet of water is opened and releases its water through a rectangular concrete channel. The channel is 5 feet wide and 4 feet tall. It has a uniform slope of 0.1%. The concrete channel has a roughness of 0.013. The flow is kept steady such that the depth of water in the channel does not exceed half of its height. How long will the dam take to empty in hours? So the first thing we're going to do is go to our reference manual. And there we can find our equation for Manning's equation for steady uniform flow, since that's a, really what this problem's looking at for us to use. So that's going to be 1.49 over n times a times the hydraulic radius to the two thirds times slope to the one half. And if you want to solve for just velocity, we can take area out of both sides of this and leave us with just these terms. Now, if you're having trouble remembering what hydraulic radius is, it's area over wetted perimeter. If you're having trouble visualizing wetted perimeter, it's the area of water that comes in contact or the length of water that comes in contact with the channel. So in this case, key W for a rectangular channel is going to be W plus 2H. And in this problem, since it's all over two thirds, that's going to be both of those as well. But let's start with the very first thing we need for now, which is going to be the total volume of water in the dam. So 30 acre feet times 43, 560 feet squared per acre. Um, acre feet is a volume. It's the acreage is the square footage and then the depth is the foot. So multiplying by the conversion, which you can either have memorized or pull out of the equation by uh, the reference manual, gives you 1306 800 cubic feet. And now that we know the total volume, we can put that aside for a bit and calculate the velocity coming out of the coming out of the dam into the channel. So we're going to say 1.49 over 0 0.013 times we're going to split up the R here into its constituents to make it easier to solve if you want to visualize it as we go. You don't have to do it this way, but the area of the dam in this case is 5 feet, which was the width. And it was noted that the flow is kept such that the depth is always going to be half the height of the 4 foot tall dam. So it's going to be 2 feet. And that's going to be over the wetted perimeter here. So 5 feet plus. 2 times 2 feet. And all of that in this case is to the 2 thirds. And then finally, we're going to have our slope, which said it's 0 0.1. So that's going to be 0 0.001 when it's not expressed as a percent. And that's going to be to the one half. So if you solve for each of these parts, um, sometimes I do that in my calculator. If I'm worried, I'm going to make a typo with a bigger number or a, a bigger set of numbers. It takes more time, so it's up to you to decide if you have the time available. But it's also a good check as you go. So. I broke up those into these 
they both equal 3.89 feet per second. And that brings us to step three. We're trying to find the total flow rate. So we could have just done it right, I guess, with the uh, other equation as well. And that's going to be Q equals VA. So 3.89 feet per second times 5 feet times 2 feet. Because that's the area in the channel. And that's going to give us 38.88 feet cubed per second. So finally, over here, we need to find time. So we have our total volume and we have our flow. If we solve, that'll give us a time component. So in this case, we're going to do 1306800 oh, feet cubed over 38.88 feet cubed per second. This is going to give us 33609 seconds. Um, and just calculating for more unit conversions now. We can solve for in hours. You could also again just do 1 over 3600 for a direct comparison. Um, I just like to write these out since this is meant to teach you. And that's going to give you about 9.5 three hours, which is our third answer over here.